So I'm here at the Water Cube with Alice. Um, and if you could hold up your badge so I could just see. So you're from UNESCO. Um, tell me why you're here at World Water Week and what are you doing? What are you working on? What are you... Uh, UNESCO has established a section on uh, groundwater resources, finally recognizing the importance of the hidden resource the quantity of data and information we have on surface water is quite important. While the real amount of fresh water is contained underground in the aquifers, and these are the groundwater resources. And about these resources, we don't know very much. We know very, very little. I give you an example. Uh, rivers, lakes, uh, you can monitor that with satellite uh, technologies. But underground, you have to go there you have to ask the country to work together, in particular when these aquifers are transboundary. Uh, you don't know that. Uh, you have really to set up cooperation between geologists, hydrogeologists, in order to recognize that they share the common geological setting. And, and then there is no future for many, many countries in the world if uh, the groundwater resources that they share as not recognized fully, and they don't start cooperating together. So how, how much has this process changed in recent years? Is it, has it changed very much, or is it...? Uh, let's say that uh, until 2008, there was nothing, almost nothing. Um, the big change was when we start working with the United Nations International Law Commission, who start understanding from uh, the legal uh, point of view what means share these resources, what countries should do in order to uh, transparently uh, go into cooperation with agreements, with protocols, uh, and, and share information and data. And finally, at the end of 2008, the UN General Assembly had recognized the importance uh, of uh, transboundary aquifers. and. Uh, adopted a resolution on transboundary aquifers that is not binding for the country, but is providing recommendations. It's a moral binding ethical issue, if you want. But we are very, very far from being operative yet. So specifically, uh, what, what, is, what is UNESCO focusing on here? What, do you, what, do you, what can you do? Uh, since uh, already 10 years, uh, we are helping the countries to collect the data to prepare their geological mapping, their hydrogeological mapping, to go really in the field with their scientists, train them in order to study these aquifers, these hidden resources. Because, I mean, at the global level, it's very nice to make uh, scenarios, but water is a local issue, and groundwater is even more a local issue. So you have to go towards the people and, and work with them. Great, well, thank, thanks for telling us about this. Thank you. That's very nice. <laughs>